Hey, what is going on everybody? So you are using the video editing software called Filmora 9. You probably just upgraded it. You can't figure out how to do anything on this. Uh, first thing I want to note is that this video editing platform is so much better than the previous. It just takes a little while to get used to because they change everything around. But I mean, it's so much smoother. You can do so many more things more. But there is just a little learning curve that you need to uh, buckle down and just keep playing with it. Anyways, um, I'm going to show you how to blur or pixelate like license plates, passwords, uh, email addresses, anything like private or personal information. It's very, very simple to do. Not as easy to do on the previous version, but it's still uh, a lot better. And you can actually uh, blur several things you know, in one clip. And uh, I'll show you that uh, how to do that right now. So let me go ahead and uh, let me move myself down here. By the way, I am using the Filmora uh, screen sharing uh, program with the webcam right now. I'm going to be making more of these video tutorials uh, with Familiar 9. Let me know if there's something uh, particular you want to know how to do. Just comment. I'll probably make a video on that as well. So let's go ahead and blur, let's just say, a password. So let me go ahead and click right here, Import Media Files. And I made this uh, fake video here. Let me go ahead and open that. So here's the video here. Let me go ahead and drag and drop this onto the timeline right here. Sure, I'll go ahead and match it to media. That's fine. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and blur now something let's out. Let's go here. ahead and tap on display here. Okay, let's just say you can see where it says nightlight. Let's just pretend that's a password, okay? That nightlight and everything underneath it, I want to blur that whole thing out. So let me go ahead and click on the back button here or the uh, left arrow and wait till that nightlight disappears first. Okay, so it's gone right now. Now let me go ahead and cut it right there. And now I have to cut it when, when basically uh, the nightlight disappears. So let me press on play again. And then from here, let's go ahead and tap on wallpaper. Okay, it just uh, disappeared. Let me just click on the back button. Okay, see night light there, forward. Okay, so it disappeared there, so I can go ahead and cut it. So it's basically, it's going to be like a perfect blur, basically. So now that one clip, I just, it, that one clip turned into three clips, okay? So you have one clip here, one clip here, and one clip here. So this middle clip here is where I, I want to blur out that uh, night light. Again, we'll pretend that's my password. So what I have to do from here is click on top left hand corner, click on effects, and then you want to go down, go down to where it says utility here, click on utility, and then mosaic is what we want to use. So with mosaic, what you want to do is drag and drop this. Now you don't want to drag and drop it to the bottom under your clip. You want to put it above your clip, okay? So above your clip here, right here and now I have to basically let me just resize this exactly the size of the second clip here the middle clip so let me go ahead and tap on the uh, mosaic here and then let me line it up right there you can see that line is perfect and now what I'm gonna do is double click on the mosaic here double click and then right away on this uh, video part here we can see this blur right here okay so what I want to go ahead and do is blur out where it said night light. So let me press on play first. Right here. Okay, so I see night light right there. So let me click on this. Got to make sure that this blur part is clicked. Not up here, right here. Okay, so now I have to go ahead and resize this. So let me go ahead and res resize this. You can resize it any size you want. And I'm not going to make it perfect, but just for demonstration purposes. Let's just say I want to move it here and this whole thing here. Okay, so right about there looks perfect. Now let's go ahead and go back and let's play this. And let me go ahead and go full screen with this so you can see what it looks like now. So let me press and play. Display here. And then from so here, let's go ahead and blurred out on wallpaper right there. And then there you go. Now the thing is, depending on the blur amount that you want, like for instance, on the left-hand side here, you can see the blur amount. Okay, so I have it at like 50%. If I move it all the way to the left, it becomes everything's pretty clear. I can still see the, uh, uh, what was that? Let me press on play again. Right here. Okay, so the night light, I can still see it right here, okay? So blur amount. I mean, if you leave it to like six or seven, it's fine. But you can see as I move all the way to 100%, it becomes like kind of like a grayish like block. So go ahead and move it to, you know, however much blur you want to give it, you know? I mean, like seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 is like perfectly fine as well. I'll just leave it at eight. And then I'll, I'll okay it there. Now, another cool thing, too, about this uh, new Familiar 9, you couldn't do this in the previous version, but what we can do now is we can add, like, a bunch more. Uh, we can blur a lot more things on the same clip if we want to. Before, you had to, like, save it and then go back to it and then redo it again. Anyways, for example, let's just say we also want to blur out a uh, wallpaper down here. 
So if you want to also blow out wallpaper on the same clip here, you just do the same thing. You go to Effects, Utility, Mosaic, and you drag and drop, and you want to go up, and you want to put this above the other mosaic, okay? Another thing you can do too is, let me just delete this, is if you want the same blur amount, I think I had it on 12, you just want to make it easier, what you can simply do is just right click on the, mos the first mosaic, just click on Copy, and then click above it, and then right click, and then go ahead and paste it. And then, okay, so it ended up at the bottom of my clip. I need to bring it up right here. And now I have the same amount of blur and the same size as well. So let me double click on this mosaic. And now I know that it's right here. Okay, ooh, let me tap again. Right here. The thing is, it layered two of them on top of it. So I need to grab one of these. And now I can bring it down. And now you can see I have two of them. One there, one there. You can see right there. So then I would have to... Uh, let me press here, on play here. And then from, from here, let's go ahead and... So if I wanted to also blur out where I said wallpaper here, I can go ahead and just uh, simply just uh, resize this, put this over here. But you can see, uh, or I'm sorry, it's at 8. So it's already at 8, the blur amount. If I go to the original one too, that is also blurred at 8. So it's just like a little shortcut. And I can OK it there. And if you're done, you can go ahead and click on Export. Uh, I usually leave it at MP4 for my uh, Windows computer here, and then um, MP4, and then you can uh, change it to better or best. It, it's perfectly fine with better. If you have a lot of room on your um, your hard drive, then go ahead and put it to best if you wish. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, uh, just comment below. Uh, if there's anything that you anything else that you want to know how to do on Familiar, let me know. I think I've gotten like I've been using this for like a month now. I've gotten pretty advanced with uh, putting like four videos together, uh, you know, doing like voiceovers and stuff like that. Anyways, thanks for watching guys and I will see you on the next one.